my friends. I am legendary independent filmmaker Jason Morris. Today we explore a sensitive topic, previously unexplored by other documentarians. As you know, human life is spread to all corners of the globe, and, as such, our cultures have evolved in many different and unique ways. What we as humans fail to realize is that our culture not only affects ourselves, but the animals that we come in contact with. One such example are the proud Native American cats, who are completely devoted to preserving their ancient lifestyle. Today we will meet one of those cats and find out just why it is they live the way they do. You are about to witness, firsthand, a group of these magnificently noble creatures. Greetings! We are Native American cats. Come, I will show you our village. Yeah, so I guess people are kind of confused about what we're doing, but it's not that complicated. Basically, we feel that the human Native Americans weren't doing a very good job preserving the lifestyle. So we cats kind of took it upon ourselves to do that. You know, because it's like they say, who you were is part of who you are. You know what I mean? One cat in particular was willing to help me understand exactly what these incredible felines are doing. Mittens, or Dances with Mice, took me under his wing and taught me the ways of his people. Come, I will take you to meet our chief. Chief of Cats? Yeah, Chief of Cats. Smoke em catnip. You mean you smoke catnip? Mm, yes, we smoke em catnip. You better do what he says. Not wanting to offend, I decided to comply with the chief. However, unusual their customs seem to me. <laughs> oh, that's good catnip. <laughs> Look, it's important to understand this whole tribal thing we do. It's only on weekends, you know, just to stay in touch with ourselves. I don't live in a TP, I live in a house, just like everybody else. I'm a normal guy. On weekdays, I work full-time at a software company. Actually, though, I'm the only Native American guy at the entire company. Uh, most of the time, my co-workers are pretty respectful, you know? Most of the time, anyway. Hey, Mittens, I bet I can make you talk like an Indian. Hey, where are you going? You're supposed to say how. Get it? How? I don't like my job very much, but hopefully I won't have to be doing it very much longer. I'm trying to get my associate's degree in computer programming. I mean, sure, my job is unrewarding, but my life isn't all bad, I guess. My girlfriend Sherry just moved in, man. And let me tell you, she really is something else. Anyway, I've got a real good feeling about our relationship. I think she might be the one. Honey, I'm home. Sherry, are you there? Mittens, this isn't what it looks like. What the hell is going on here? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm kicking his ass! You're gonna kill him! Duh! You're crazy, man! You're crazy! And you! I want you out of my house! I never want to see you again! Just... just get out of here, you slut! I'm, uh, I'm an alcoholic. How does that make you feel? Bad. Mostly because, I guess, that's a stereotype about Native Americans. That all Native Americans are alcoholics or something. And it, it's not true, but it's true for me, you know? Like, I'm perpetuating the stereotype or something. And I don't want to be the guy who, who does that. I don't want to be a stereotype. There's only one 
song worth singing They may try and sell ya Cause it hangs them up To see someone like you You gotta make your own kind of uh, I guess it's up to the later generations of Native Americans To help rid the world of these stereotypes And I guess that doesn't just apply to Native Americans No matter who you are if someone has stereotypical views about you, it's up to you to prove them wrong. I don't care if some people don't understand my life, because I'm proud of who I am. And I'm not going to pretend to be someone else. I guess what it comes down to is, at the end of the day, we are Native American cats. You gotta make-